Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to create a so-called session link in MDT and how to use uh, the data available in Emacs uh, to migrate um, the appropriate configuration to MDT to create a so-called session link. And what is important for you to know is uh, that session link is strictly related to running JS aliases uh, uh, to start the session. Okay, so let's take a look at um, the configurations available in Emacs. And to do so, we have to start Emacs and go to SW alias files menu where we can see the list of available GIS aliases files. Um, so let's, uh, let's choose the default one which is available in our small work code product installation. Let's take a look at the contents. Here we can see the list of uh, different uh, alias definitions. Um, so, for example, this particular alias is used to uh, to start serve session with the use of some switches, and uh, this alias will be um, taken to as an argument uh, for a GIS application launcher to start the session. Okay, generally speaking, let's uh, start this particular alias definition. So we have to uh, put our cursor somewhere inside the alias definition and then we have to go to aliases and run current definition command to start the session okay you can see that session has been started and uh, at the top of the buffer we have a description of the command line for running this particular uh, swap alias so we can see that here we have the alias name uh, here we have an uh, appropriate switch uh, which is pointing to this aliases file uh, definition location and there is also a switch with path to uh, environment batch file for setting up some additional environment variables before uh, starting our session and there is also a path to GIS um, application launcher for running those um, alias um, and uh, below we can find also uh, a path to our current working directory which may also be useful in case of creating a session link in MDT. Okay, so let's go to MDT and in a, a sessions a tab of a sessions view we can activate a context menu and choose a command new session link to activate a new session link wizard. In a new session link wizard we have to specify the small GIS version that we would like to use to create our session and of course the related runtime for running our session. Okay in the next page uh, we can see the list of available products where we have um, uh, our GIS aliases so let's um, unfold this um, list and choose SW Core product to to get a GIS aliases file for this small work core installation. As you can see, the path to GIS aliases file, which has been automatically filled here, is the same as it was in case of of uh, Emacs. So it is the same uh, path. So we can see that we already have this GIS aliases file and the only thing we have to specify is to choose the related alias that we will use to start the session. So in this case it will be swap. So as you can see we have the path to the batch file which is the same as it was in this command line. We have a path to our GIS aliases file which is also the same as it was in case of Emacs. And of course, the alias name, in this case swap, in the list of available aliases. After specifying these uh, elements, we can simply press next in the new session link wizard to create our session. But first we have to set up the name for it. So let's name it a swap link. It doesn't have to um, have the same name as it was in case of alias so let's press finish to create our session okay now we can see that the swap link session is available in the list of our sessions so after double clicking on it we will open so called session link editor where we can 
uh, change uh, different things related to our configuration. So we can change the path to our GIS aliases file or environment batch file, or we can change uh, the name of the alias that will be used to start our session. Okay, let's take a look also at the launcher tab where we have um, a command line that uh, is used to start our session. As you can see, it is uh, the same command line as it is in Emacs in, in this case. So it fully reflects uh, the command line for running uh, GIS aliases in Emacs and in MDT as well. Okay, so let's close the editor, let's select our session and let's start it. Take a look how it works and if it works. And in the console you can see that output is available, so the session has been started properly. Okay, thank you.